Hello, everyone, and may God bless us all. You are with Crafts by The Rose, and I am Tina. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell to the setting of all. So you will get all of my videos and my live streams. Please share my page with someone you know. So that this show can grow. Please comment at any time. I appreciate all comments. And I reply to all of my comments. Um, I'm coming to you. With. This video is going to be about. How. To get a handle on a misbehaving child. First of all. These are all things that i done over the years when I was raising all the children that I had to raise. And I still raise a lot of kids because I have a lot of great grandbabies and grandchildren. So I still raise a lot of children. And it works for me. Whenever you want to teach a class or teach a child something and they seem like they don't want to pay attention, I found the easiest way to make a child pay attention why I'm trying to teach him or her something is if they can't learn sitting down, they can definitely learn standing up. And the reason why I say teach the class to them while they're standing is because after standing two or three hours and you're ready to sit down, you'll open that mind up and start trying to figure out what somebody is trying to teach you. It's worked for me for many years. Um... Another thing, how to get a child, an unruly child. We are talking about children that are unruly, that need some discipline. Not everybody has children that needs discipline, but there are some people that do. And if you don't have a child that's unruly, I truly understand. And this might not be for you. But if you know somebody that has one that's unruly, this is for them, definitely. Over the years that I raised my children, I, um, I didn't let them watch cartoons. I didn't let them watch cartoons because cartoons are fictional. And their brains don't understand what's real and what's not real. And how consequences come behind things that you do. Like the one show that I hated when my kids was young and I would not let my boys watch was Ninja Turtles or The Road Runner. Those two shows, I, or um, Tom and Jerry, they was another one. I have reasons that I didn't let my boys watch those shows. Uh, Tom and Jerry always hit each other across the head, flatten each other out. And... Uh, the road runner did too. Always was dropping a stone on top of somebody's head. And then they get up and walk right behind it. Well, that's an idealistic type of thing for a child to see 
and grow to believe. Their minds is always learning. And you don't want your child to think that if they throw a brick on top of you, that you're going to get up and walk behind it. You're not. More than likely, if they throw a stone on top of you, you're done. It's no more you. Any cartoons that have that type of idealistic type of thing going on in it wasn't for me and my children. Because I want my children to know reality, what's real, not no fake stuff. My son used to watch Ninja Turtle and try to climb the wall. Now, I know all of that stuff y'all probably saying, well, they good, I love them. I, that's all right for somebody who understands right from wrong. Now that they're grown and I've taught them that this is right and that's wrong and don't do this and don't do that, then if they want to go in there and watch a cartoon, they can But they don't really care for them. I never see them watching them. Um, they, I didn't think that you have to be like so real with children about what life is about. When you give a child an idealistic thought at a young age before they know what is right and wrong, you're giving them a mindset that fake is real, and it's not. Fake is fake and real is real. That's just like I had a son that loved it, WWE. And I had to explain to him that some of the stuff on the WWE is not all real. Some of the things that they do are for show. How do I know? My dad used to take me to the shows live in Chicago when they used to come on Halsted Street. to. It was a big theater there, place where they could, uh, I don't forgot the name of it, but it was right on Halsted near 30-something. Burnt down now. But it's where all the wrestling matches used to happen in Chicago. And I was totally in love with wrestling. But I had to go to the show and be in a front row seat in order to see Vern Gagne cut his head with the razor himself. I see it. I know it's true. Some of the things that they do at the WWE is not fiction. I mean, not facts, but it's fiction. And... I mean, once I proved it to my son, then, and he knew for sure that some of it was not real, because I am a WWE fan, but I had to make my sons know that everything that they did on that show was not reality. Until you can make sure that your child knows facts from fiction when they see it on TV or any place else, they should not be allowed to partake of it. You don't want to give them the wrong ideas about what is real and not real in life. So that is my tip for today 
I appreciate you all for being with me. Please give this show a thumbs up. I appreciate um, all the comments that everybody might leave on the subject. Um, I probably have more videos that explain things like this or similar to this in the future. And if you have any questions about things that I've had to do to raise my children, please feel free to ask me. You have been with Crafts by The Rose and I am Tina. Um, happy crafting.